and footer color of A. All right. I'm going to go in B now, and I'm going to define a header and footer color for B to be that color and this no, that's too close. And that. All right. I can do this for a variety of elements, and it shows you all the elements you can do. You can define the content body, colors for links, colors for text, and so on. Notice as I'm doing that, it's showing you what it's changing. Buttons, normal buttons. This is setting the gradient of them, so you can get that effect. Hover effects for the button, same thing. So I can set all these properties for this, for all the attributes that jQuery can kind of hook into automatically. And then, when I'm done, I can download the theme file. And what's the theme file? The theme file is a CSS file that I'm going to incorporate into my page. So I'll go here and download the theme. We can give it a name. Let's call it Monday. And it says what I can do. I just put that in my list of CSS uh, stuff before the jQuery stuff. All right, and I download the zip, and I can save it to my desktop. I can then copy that. into there and I can then go and include that have that in there, then what I can do is I can specify on different things the data theme that I want. So if I want from my A swatch, I can put A for that. So that'll be that goofy color with red text. If I want on the footer, oh, that is the footer. Let's say the footer, I want the B swatch. The header, I want the A swatch. And if I look at that now, <coughs> all right, um, hmm. did something wrong.
I did not. Uh, this is just a plain HTML file, so I am. Yeah, I was about to say the difference. Yeah, but I am uh, doing it right here, so that should work. Um, Let me look. It actually gives you the style sheet, so we can I could maybe see what I'm doing wrong. Sheet. Maybe that's interfering with it. They said put it before where it seemed like it needs to be after. All right, unless I misread the the, the no, thing. Yeah, because then when I put it after, I am getting the color of that one. And I could go in and make this guy B, and I should see the blue. And there's the blue. So I I don't know if I if I misread that line of code or if something else is wrong or whatever, but by by moving it at the end, um, that accomplished what I wanted to do. That gives you some flexibility on on styling it differently. Um, again, you know it's it's you know if you think about it, all right, you actually could fairly easily theme your pages. In other words, you could come up with a set of swatches A through F if you wanted to, give them names, and then allow people to pick which one they wanted to and dynamically generate the code to only show the one. So you, you, could, you, could, have some, uh, you could have some fun doing it that way. Um, again, remember, these are just a bunch of tools at your disposal. All right. Um, I'm going to upload this example. I uploaded it before class, but I'm going to upload it after class because I think I made some changes that you might want to take a look at. So we'll do that and um, we'll go from there. I'll see you folks in line. Um, could you upload that uh, page that had all the tartan pictures as well? I'll upload all of the pages but that one. No, I'm just messing oh, with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll upload that one.